Today you're in for a real treat. Joining me is my wife, Anne Marie. Thank you, honey. And instead of talking about real estate, we're gonna talk about homeschooling your kids. So if you have kids, this is a video you don't wanna miss. Get ready to learn how to decide if homeschool is right for you, coming up. This video is brought to you by Flipster, the nation's number one real estate software with tools for finding, funding, and flipping houses. Check it out now at getflipster.com. If you're new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. This just happens to be a topic we are very qualified to discuss. Yes, not just because we have nine kids and another on the way, <laughs> but we've been full-time homeschooling for about 13 years. And even though this channel is all about how to make money in real estate, the topic of homeschooling is actually closely related and a big part of our overall lifestyle and family plan. And if you have kids, it can be that for you too. That's right. In fact, deciding to homeschool our kids was just as big a decision and just as important decision as it was to start doing real estate because we weren't just looking to take control over our finances, but all areas of our lives, including our kids' education. And it really has been a wonderful experience for us and the right decision for us. But it hasn't always been easy, has it? No, it's never easy, but easy and kids don't go together in the same sentence anyways. But it has been very rewarding and the best decision for our family. Yes, it definitely has been, but it's not for everyone. So if you have kids or you plan on having kids, and if you've ever thought about homeschooling and you want to know if it's right for you, we have five reasons why homeschooling might be right for you, as well as three of the most common concerns new homeschoolers have. And if you're inspired by this video and you want to learn more about homeschooling, be sure to stay to the end of this video. We're going to share with you how to get my wife's custom homeschool curriculum for free. Okay. Reason number one, homeschooling might be right for you is if you love the idea of having a flexible schedule. Some people think that you have to be really disciplined with your time to homeschool, but that's not necessarily true. Homeschooling allows you the freedom to create the schedule that works for you based on your life and your situation, maybe even your personality. Want to do school in the afternoon after going for a morning hike or in the evening after a day trip? You totally can. Having a flexible schedule has honestly been one of our favorite things about homeschooling. We love to travel and explore different places, and when we do, we just take our work and school with us. In fact, a few years ago, we did a year-long cross-country RV trip. In the mornings, the kids would do their school while I worked, and then in the afternoons, we would play and explore together. And by the way, if you want to learn how to flip houses remotely from anywhere without ever seeing the houses in person, be sure to get my virtual house flipper kit where I break it down for you. To get that for free, just go to virtualflipperkit.com. Most people don't realize with homeschooling that academics can take a lot less time in the day than it does at a formal school setting. So if you think about all the time that's wasted with kids moving from classroom to classroom or handing out papers or waiting while irrelevant questions are being asked, you can imagine how much more efficient you can be with covering the academics at your house. I mean, do you honestly think evenings spent doing homework are really for the best good of your child and your family? What we found is the essential academics at home can be done in about three hours per day. The rest of the day can be set aside for learning about other things that are interesting and important to you and your family, such as character building, financial literacy, and life skills. So the second reason homeschool might be right for you is if you decide what is most important for your kid to learn about. In our home, we don't memorize random, irrelevant facts that don't really have any significance. In this day and age with Surrey or Google at our beck and call, is it really that important for our children to learn how to memorize a whole lot of facts? Let me ask you, were the facts that you memorized at school very valuable to you? Instead, let's think about what skills and knowledge you wish that you had gained during your educational years. Yeah, think about the life lessons you did not learn in school. How do you feel about being able to pass those on to your children at an even earlier age? Isn't it the love of learning that has really set you on a path to being able to learn about anything you need to learn about in your life? Do you feel your school experience diminished or enhanced your love of learning? When you learn at home, you have the freedom to incorporate what really matters into your schedule instead of the rote repetition that has to be used to accommodate the masses. 
Now the third reason homeschool may be right for you is if you want to be more intentional about the external influences on your children. Are you okay with your kids being socialized mostly by their immature peers or would you rather them be more balanced with the influence of their own parents and some hand-picked inspiring mentors? How about siblings? What is your hope for your children's relationships with each other? Giving your children that extra bit of time with each other can make all the difference in forging strong relationships that bring them back home when they are adults. Reason number four why homeschool may be right for you is if you want to create a better learning environment for your kid. A scholar is made alone. Can kids really focus in a classroom full of class clowns and phones being passed around? At home, you can create a quiet and focused environment to get some really good study habits down and then still have enough time in the day to do all of the extracurricular, fun, or challenging social activities that are still so valuable in a well-rounded educational experience. Our kids still participate in organized sports, music, and other school electives. And the fifth reason why homeschool might be right for you is if you want to custom tailor your child's education. With homeschooling, you have so many options and you can pick the perfect recipe for your child's education. For example, learning self-help or entrepreneurship is important in our family. Last summer, our kids raised and sold bunnies as part of their homeschool curriculum. My daughter helps my wife organize and prepare my monthly real estate training events here at the house. And if your kid is really academic, you can start college classes early before they graduate high school. Our 17-year-old Nathan started taking classes at a local community college as a sophomore, and the credits count towards his degree. Although these five reasons may sound compelling, we found that a lot of people are still reluctant and have reservations. There are three primary concerns many parents have. The first concern is parents think they must have the skill set, knowledge, or intelligence to be able to teach their own children. The reality is with online classes and virtual teachers, you needn't feel like you have to be an expert in every area of your child's interest or education. What we've learned is your role is more of a facilitator of your children's education rather than an actual teacher or provider. When we travel, our teenagers log into their online classes on a laptop, and you can decide how many or which classes are best for your kids to experience in real time versus online. There are also tons of homeschool co-ops and classes that are arranged all over the country by other homeschool facilitators. Now, these live co-ops and online classes bring diversification and social and leadership opportunities, not to mention it gives your child a balanced amount of opportunities to interact and receive input and instruction from other teachers. The second most common concern about being a homeschool parent is being worried about having the patience and keeping your relationship intact with having your children around all the time. When done correctly, homeschooling is child-led, not parent-forced. I've learned firsthand that patience is a virtue that doesn't grow unless it gets practiced. It's true that we've had to exercise our patience muscles when we first started homeschooling our children, but we are so glad that we developed that attribute because it has contributed to our deepening relationships with our kids so much. Yeah, and since your kids are around more, having boundaries and separation is very important and still very possible since you are in charge of the schedule that you set up, especially if you have a big family like us. So for example, every morning we have mom and dad alone time until 8.30 in the morning, and the older kids, they take turns every day watching the younger kids who get up early. Every week we have date night, and once a day my wife takes an hour of mom quiet time. The third concern, which is probably the biggest, is just feeling overwhelmed. And this is normal, especially in the beginning. Just like with learning real estate or any new endeavor, it takes time and consistency. And while there are a lot of things to think about with homeschooling, just remember that no educational method is perfect. The real question is which situation has the best odds for success for your child and your family? Then choose what works best for you. So if you're feeling inspired to homeschool your kids, my wife has an amazing resource to help you get started that has taken her years to put together and is being used by hundreds of homeschool parents. That's right. It's a one-year homeschool curriculum broken down by month. It has the lessons and topics as well as reference links to additional resources. This is totally my go-to guide for homeschooling. 
So if you want this for free, leave a comment and say, Amory, you are a flipping homeschool genius. Please share your curriculum and I'll give you the download link. And finally, the reason why I wanted to discuss this topic is because if you truly want to achieve freedom in your life, not just financial freedom by flipping real estate, but time freedom to work from home when you want, doing what you want. And if you have kids, combining homeschooling with working from home, flipping houses, to me is the ultimate freedom and it provides the dream lifestyle but you have to learn how. So to help you get started, be sure to get my quick start kit that says everything you need to flip your first house in the next 30 days. To get this for free, just go to myquickstartkit.com. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you'd like for us to do more videos about homeschooling, leave a comment and let us know. And don't forget, the ultimate goal is to have the time and freedom to have, be, do, and give everything God has in store for you. That's what it's really all about. And we'll see you on the next video.